after you died in your last life and before you were born in your current life, your soul looked back at all the lives you'd led and came to some understandings about why you might come back again. At that point of the journey, you made a few prenatal resolves of why you would come back. What would you do when you became human? At the bottom of those resolves is love. Love is the reason we all come back here. But how to live that love becomes a very personal odyssey because in the world of today, it's very challenging to live the love that you are. There are many illusions, delusions, seductions, and confusions that get in the way of living the love that you are. When you have a deep recognition that there is so much love packed into you, and that's what you owe the world. You owe the world your love. Deep creative forces are packed into your soul in layers. The unraveling of those layers and the releasing and expression of all that creative force, which we could call love, is the art of your life. Learning how to do that takes an entire lifetime and then some. Because once you come to this realization, which, by the way, can turn your whole life around. Because if it's true, what I'm saying, that, that you're here for love, that everybody's here for love, once you know that, then you have to figure out how to do it. What's, what's your deepest love made of? John Lennon was right during the love revolution back in the 1960s when he said, all you need is love. But what he didn't have a chance to add to that, it has to go deep and last long. <laughs>